before switching on the machine. Check that the chemicals connected to the machine have adequate levels. If the chemical bottles are below a quarter, change and decant the remainder of the chemicals into the new bottle once the level comes down. Always remember to use the appropriate PPE equipment when handling chemicals. The rinse aid has a coloured tubing. The detergent has a clear transparent tubing. Be aware not to get these mixed up. Next, make sure the machine has all components fitted. First, your collection filter. Then refit the wash pump filter. Then ensure the surface scrap trays are also located. We now need to replace the upper and lower wash and rinse arm assembly. The upper wash arm has dark grey quick release tabs, as well as the word UP written on it. Put the lower wash arm and upper wash arm into the machine. Now all the machine's components are into position, we're ready to switch it on. First of all, check if the water supply to the machine is switched on and is not obstructed. Turn on the mains electricity supply to the machine via the external isolator. The machine will perform self-diagnostics. Close the door when the display goes blank and the red lamp is illuminated. Press the main power button to turn on for the day. The machine will take approximately 20 minutes to fill, depending on power and water connected, and will display water loading throughout the filling process. The animated image on the right-hand side of the display builds from the bottom upwards during the filling process. The display will be green when the machine is full and up to temperature. In this case, the machine requires salt and the display is yellow. This indicates issues that need to be tackled by the end user. If the regeneration on message is displayed, this indicates that the machine is carrying out a regeneration and you can continue to operate cycles. The machine is now ready to run a cycle. We have a power button on the display, a special programs button, a standard programs button and a start button. The display will illuminate green if everything is okay and ready to operate then yellow if the machine is heating, but can still be operated, then blue if in a cycle, and finally red if there is an error and a message is displayed. If this is the case, turn the machine off and back on again. Contact your supplier for further advice if the error code still appears when switching the machine back on. Now, going through the special programs available, we have a long cycle, which runs for approximately seven minutes. Perfect for products which have dried on or burnt on food debris. Secondly, we have the Eco Cycle, which relies predominantly on mechanical action and uses less energy. Dependent on your model, you may have additional special programs. Please refer to your user manual for details. Now going through the standard programs, PRG1 is a very short cycle, designed for lightly soiled or lightly dusted crockery. PRG2 is your standard general cycle, used most of the time perfect for lightly soiled crockery that have just been used. PRG3 cycle is a slightly longer cycle than the PR2 to allow the products that have been left out for a little while to soak. Then we have a cleaning cycle, which we highly recommend to be used at the end of the day to finally drain the machine down. This will run for approximately 10 minutes. Finally, we have a drain program, which is a partial self-clean and quick drain cycle that can be used mid-service to change the water in the wash tank. Performing a wash cycle. Open the door of the machine. Here we have an already loaded basket, which will need pre-rinsing and pre-scraping prior to loading into the machine. Please note, if using a metal scourer, please make sure any fragments are fully rinsed off before being loaded into the dishwasher. The basket must be loaded correctly to ensure all items within will wash properly. We then push it into the machine and close the door and select the appropriate cycle. For general washing, press the P button until PRG2 is displayed. Then push the start button to initiate the washing cycle. The progress bar will build from left to right, showing the cycle progress. When the display shows the message end and the display illuminates green and in some circumstances yellow, open the door, remove the basket and place the basket somewhere safe. 
You can continue to use the machine even if the display shows the message, Heating, please wait. Keep the machine door closed during operational service to avoid the temperature reducing and wasting energy. Your machine is capable of showing you the temperatures. To have this on permanently, push and hold the P button when the machine is full and fully up to temperature. The machine will start showing the tank boiler temperatures. Push and hold the P button to take the temperature off the display. After which, the machine will revert back to just the cycle selected. Alternatively, to visualize the machine's temperature or cycle counter, push and hold the cycle start button. It'll show tank, boiler, then a cycle counter. End of day or end of service. To change the water in the tank halfway through the day, we can select the drain cycle using the P button to select drain. Then push the start button to initiate the program selected. This is a very quick draining cycle, which includes a partial clean and will allow the machine to drain down and give the cabinet a rinse. The partial self-clean cycle will be complete when the display goes blank and the red lamp illuminates, indicating that the machine is in standby. At the end of the day, select the clean cycle and press start. The cleaning cycle will drain. Run the wash pump, drain, rinse and finally drain. This self-clean cycle takes around 10 to 15 minutes. The self-clean cycle is completed when the display goes blank and the red lamp is illuminated, indicating the machine is in standby. Open the door. Remove lower and upper wash and rinse arm assemblies. Push any debris that's caught in the jets and rinse them out thoroughly. Next, we will need to remove the internal scrap trays whilst ensuring not to spill any debris collected back into the tank. Then wipe over the tank surface to remove any debris. Now remove the wash pump filter by pulling towards the front corner to dislocate from the machine. We also need to remove the collection filter. Clean all components that have been removed and wipe the wash tank surface to remove any debris using a non-abrasive sponge or paper towel. When washing the components, never use washing up liquid as this will result in masses of foam and false error codes displayed on the machine. Now we reassemble the machine. First your collection filter. Then refit the wash pump filter. Then refit the surface scrap trays. Finally, we need to replace the upper and lower wash arm. When you're finished putting the machine back together, always leave the door open overnight to allow the chamber to dry. If your dishwasher has an internal water softener and displays the message salt, it requires salt for the regeneration of the internal water softener. Remove upper and lower wash and rinse arm assemblies and scrap trays. Remove the salt cap located on the left hand corner of the machine. You will need 750 grams of granular salt. You will require three jugs filled to the 250 cc mark to fill up the water softener using the funnel. Decant three jugs of salt into the softener to fill it up completely. Remove any salt which is left resting on the surface. Replace and screw up the salt cap. Be careful not to over tighten. Refit all components back in their place after having topped up the salt in the reservoir and put the machine into a self-cleaning cycle. Select the clean cycle using the P button. Close the door and press the start button. The self-clean cycle is complete when the display goes blank and the red lamp is illuminated, indicating the machine is in standby. For more information, please refer to the user manual provided with the machine or contact your supplier.